An investigation is getting underway this morning after a police chase and crash overnight. Yeah, the crash happened in the area of Keystone and Emory on Detroit's east side. 7 Action News reporter Naya Harden is joining us live near the scene. First of all, Naya, was anybody hurt? Yeah, Alicia, we're being told that two people were injured. Uh, the two people that were involved actually in that accident that led police on that chase, they have now been taken into custody and they are at a local hospital receiving treatment. But I want to show you what the damage looks like here on Seven Mile in Keystone. Take a look right here. This is a uh, fish and fry. You can see this door right here, brick. I mean, just busted up. And then if you continue to pan with me over here. You can see car parts just traveled along all the way. Actually, from what we're hearing, they went into those trees, but this started in Warren earlier this morning. That's when we're told two cars were in a subdivision on Nine Mile and Ryan. They were looking pretty suspicious. Officers started uh, decided to go ahead and pull them over, and that's when they led police on a chase. They fled southbound on Ryan to seven mile. They struck each other just west of mound and then one continued on and hit this building right here where we're at. Now two men, like I said, were taken into custody. They did receive injuries. We're not sure uh, how serious those injuries are right now. We're expecting to learn more later. Police say they are still investigating at this point. I did ask police if those vehicles involved had been stolen. They said right now they don't see them being uh, reported as stolen, but that doesn't mean anything. They're still looking into this and they believe at least one person is still on the run. So we'll continue to have updated information for you later on this morning. Naya Harden, 7 Action News. All right, thank you very much, Naya.